in 1969, the first research unit of the institute, the unit for child and youth research, was set up with support from UNICEF. Subsequently, several other research units were set up in relevant areas. The goal at that time was to be useful uh, to the government, to bodies like the World Bank, to bodies like the ILO, to bodies that needed social science research to produce good research for them. That every field of social work should have its own body of research done in India. And uh, that was a very exciting climate to be in. Institute is probably the only institution in the country that has done applicable research or assessment of applications, assessment of efforts, development efforts and so on, on the scale that uh, I don't think anybody else has done it in the country. It helped us to go to the grass, grassroots level, no doubt, there is no doubt about it. All our researchers have dirt beneath their fingernails. Our researchers are of a different kind. Our MA students, their capability and capacity to go into the rural areas, even strange rural areas, and collect data is amazing. Over the years, field action projects have served as important spaces for student learning and for building indigenous social work knowledge. Field action received a fresh impetus in the 1980s when under the leadership of Professor Armaiti Desai, a number of pioneering projects were initiated. From domestic violence to the rights of under trials, from a helpline for children in distress to rural development, these projects opened up new areas for intervention and field-based learning. Some of them created new models that were replicated across the nation and beyond. The first few field action projects of the Institute were started simply because uh, field work was absolutely an essential part of uh, social work education. Students had to go to do field work and there weren't, there weren't enough agencies where students could be placed. So that's how it was born out of necessity. You know. What it has uh, done is it has provided a space for faculty to experiment and to um, uh, remain in touch with the field. Uh, it has uh, provided opportunities for uh, you know, uh, understanding issues at the grassroots level and then feed it back to teaching. Uh, it has uh, so many field action projects have spiraled off research projects uh, which have generated knowledge. I think this is uh, probably the most unique uh, contribution of DISS to education and, uh, and social work education in particular. In 1986, as a part of its Golden Jubilee initiatives, DISS decided to establish a rural campus which in its initial phase focused on field action projects and short-term training programs. Afforestation and sustained work has transformed the once barren plateau into a green haven. Today, the School of Rural Development on this campus offers a five-year integrated program in rural social work. In 1993, TISS decided to initiate new master's programs in health and hospital administration, consolidating its work in this area and meeting the need for trained professionals in this field. The Genesis was the beginning of a certificate evening program in hospital administration in 1980. And the reason for that program was in those days hospitals were managed by the top physician or the top surgeon and they managed by virtue of their uh, superior knowledge in medicine. And normally people obey them but that, that scenario was slowly changing. That's the time workers, there was a need felt that doctors having simple medical qualification cannot manage hospitals, but they also need some managerial skills. It was started in 1980, academic year, and uh, 
there was overwhelming uh, response for that. I think a uh, lot of credit goes to Professor Armaiti Desai. She was the director and she understood what it is and she also interacted with the students. So then she pushed, pushed me very hard for setting up this department.